Oops, I got to turn on my thing. Hey, Cashify. Uh, this is Piro. Um, you'll be able to see me in just a moment. Let me find something here. Okay, that'll do. Um, okay, I'm only making this video. Well, no, it's not the only reason. But I'm making this video. I, during this video, I want to tell you, uh, I want you to check out my next video. Because I had a lucid dream, a really long one. And um, so we talked a little bit about that before. I know you, uh, you, you have had many lucid dreams. So, um, but on this subject, it's an interesting thing. You know, I often wondered um, when I was younger, and, and still do, you know, why can't we just, I hate to use the word control, but let's say evoke. Why can't we evoke so many of the cool powers of our mind when we want to? You know, for example, to start with a, a different kind of example. You know, the special effects you can have in a dream that's really vivid, I mean, it's like the best, it's, it's, CGI doesn't even do it justice. A holiday, it's best. It's like you're seeing things better than you even could in real life. And it's just, it just could be so beautiful. And you can't just close your mind and then say, oh, I'm ready to have one of those. It's the same thing with feelings. Same thing with feelings. And you can definitely take to the bank, little joke there, uh, the fact that y y your exact conditions are not, um, don't have to be a particular characterizable status in order to feel joy or all the rest. Um, on the other hand, you know, I don't want to disconnect how I feel from reality necessarily. I think there's something beautiful about reality worth connecting your feelings to. But specifically, you could definitely turn on a feeling of, of content and bliss. But, but, um, but we can't. We don't. You can, but we don't. We can, but we can't seem to pull it off all the time. And um, in this investigation, I comes came to my attention that there are people that do this. There are just blissed out people, and uh, some of them are really great sources of energy. It's a really powerful bliss. Um, but usually, those people, you know, if you talk to them enough, they'll tell you about the times, the sad times in their life. They just feel it's it's more worthwhile to be positive. But I think many more times you meet somebody that has this, and they're really feeling that they think, but they're just in denial, and, and they're kind of fake, and they're avoiding experiences that might disturb that feeling, and so on and so forth, and then the height and purity of that emotion, it's just a caricature of the real one you really feel when you're, like in your example of when have I felt that way, I felt that way 30 miles from the nearest house up in the mountains in a meadow lying in the grass not worrying about the bugs that are there or anything else and just absorbing the the breeze and the sunlight and many many times and pretty much all the time it's certainly no accomplishments made me feel that way there's a great feeling uh, with accomplishment but it's not the feelings i would associate with the way you described it so it occurred to me maybe there is a good reason that our spirits, you know, not just our mind, not just trapped in the mundane world, but that our spirits, whatever they are, you know, I have a materialist idea of that, but, the, you know, the world is, is surreal enough for that to be a spiritual kind of thing. Um, but our spirits are, are, are uh, whatever it is, piecing our, our way of, of moving through life and through thoughts together, Maybe it has a reason that it doesn't want us just to turn on a blissed out state. And maybe that reason is what I said before. That, that there's a feeling of connective to reality. Such that there's a sustenance. You know, like, not all good food is sweet. But sometimes you can eat something that maybe the taste buds aren't all excited about. But your body is like, yeah. Maybe there's something to that, to, to the feeling of being connected to the streams, to the streams of imagery that we are getting through our sense, our so-called sense and motor functions. And, and our spirit, again, lack, lack of a better word, 
doesn't want us to lose control with that. To, you know, if you could push a button like a rat with the uh, brain electrode in there, you push the button and it, or a monkey and you know have an orgasm, have an orgasm. That's such an attractive uh, sugar-coated experience, a taste bud experience, that you might lose out. You might not leave enough time to have this more subtle thing. Because that's the thing. I think some of these feelings that are positive that we're talking about, they're local peaks. They're local peaks. What about a feeling that has ten that takes ten years to have? That 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 really it's you know, time being as malleable and strange and multidimensional as it seems to be. Some moments are 10 years long. I've told you before, I don't believe that a moment can be a single moment. It always has to be an interval. And that opens up the idea that you have a moment that's a second, or a moment that's a minute, or a moment that's 10 minutes, or a moment that's 10 years. And the feelings associated with these moments, you know, some of them don't want you to be blissed out constantly. They require a different process in order to realize themselves. So, anyway, that's my take on that, but seriously, I, I would really like your feedback. I had a lucid dream. After 30 years of trying, and as, I've, as we have discussed, I've had many lucid moments. Um, I have another dream that was sort of the closest, but this was like, boom, hours. Definitely subjective hours, but, but, uh, but you know, I think it actually, in real time also, was an hour at least. I mean, I, I could tell from waking, uh, or from not from waking, but from drifting in and out of the dream state and, and realizing I'm in my bed and then going back into it, that, that it, was, um, it was quite extended. And um, well, I'll explain more about it in that video, but I'd love your feedback. I'd love your feedback. Oh, and I'll leave the, this here, you know, because you've seen I've taken the wide berth because I didn't want to just constantly be uh, criticizing your, your thing because, you know, I see you have a positive vibe you're exploring. I don't want to fuck up your exploration. I appreciate that you have 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 not uh, gotten out of sorts like so many do when I did object my scrutiny and criticism. Scrutiny, that will make an appearance in the lucid dream. And criticisms... Um, you know, and that's one reason. The other thing is I sort of dug down to what was really getting me. How could you believe in nothing? And I, you know, I came to the conclusion, you're really talking about there's no things. And you're going that way with the uh, semantics um, rather than um, the fact that, well, there's no things, but there is flow and energy and, and, and us. So, um, so I had answered that. And also, I don't need to just, uh, you know, I, I don't need to interfere with your thing. So, but this is interesting to me because because, um, well, it was, it was just a wonderful experience, life experience, but um, relative to you, it's interesting because, uh, because uh, I, I want your, uh, your feedback. Okay, cheers.